Hello friends, this video marks the first in a series that covers the key actions you will need to learn for the upcoming SaucerSwap V2 protocol. For those of you who don't know, the defining characteristic of the upgraded protocol is concentrated liquidity. Today, we'll learn how to create a liquidity position. Let's get started. First, let's make sure we have a few things. A wallet, either Hashpack or Metamask, some HBAR to cover gas fees, and one or more HTS tokens to create our liquidity position with. Remember, you can always obtain tokens on SaucerSwap by swapping HBAR or any other Hedera token on the swap page. So let's go ahead and connect our wallet by clicking on the Connect Wallet button on the top right and then following the instructions in our wallet. Here we are on the brand new liquidity page of SaucerSwap. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a liquidity position in the HBAR Sauce pair. By scrolling down on this page, I will see an all new table that includes every pool on SaucerSwap. I can sort these by SaucerSwap V1 or SaucerSwap V2 and search for any existing pool. Say goodbye to navigating to a separate analytics tab to see pool stats. It's now all fully integrated in the web app. Here, I see the HBAR Sauce 0.3% fee tier pool with the SaucerSwap V2 label. To get started with this pool, I'll click on it to open the specific page for this pool. On this page, I can see some general statistics for the pool. On the left is a depth chart, showing the distribution of liquidity over a price range. While liquidity positions are aggregated together into a continuous price curve, you can think of this depth chart like an order book, and the white line is the active price. On the right-hand side, I can see statistics like volume, how many fees were generated for liquidity providers by people swapping in this pool, the total pool liquidity, and the Larry rewards for this pool. Larry, meaning Liquidity Aligned Reward Initiative, is a way to bootstrap liquidity for V2 pools. That means more token incentives for providing liquidity. Let's tab over to the New Position interface to get started in creating a position. Here you will see that same depth chart, but on the right-hand side with purple and blue handles. This chart will allow you to define the price range over which you provide liquidity. Unlike SaucerSwap V1, the two tokens provided as liquidity will not always be of equal value. For example, if I set my range completely on the right side of the active price, then I will only deposit one token on the sell side of the depth chart. In this case, it will be an HBAR only deposit. Let's not worry about that for now. Even though it is a very powerful tool that can emulate fee earning limit orders. We'll cover that in another video. For now, let's provide liquidity to both sides of the depth chart and try to make a useful position that collects a good amount of fees and Larry rewards. I'm always free to define the range myself. However, SaucerSwap V2 aims to make this process easier for users, especially when faced with a lot of new information. So, you can see on the left, there are three preset volatility strategies which will automatically define a range for your liquidity. This can make participating in concentrated liquidity much easier if you are new to the idea. Let's choose the balanced strategy. You'll see that the handles on the depth chart automatically jump to a defined position that adheres to a balanced liquidity approach for this pool. Perfect. Now we need to input how many tokens we want to provide as liquidity. I'll click on the 50% button next to HBAR, which will automatically populate the input field with 50% of my total HBAR balance. Additionally, 
the relative amount of sauce tokens will automatically be entered based on the range defined on the depth chart. So now I've finished setting the parameters for my liquidity position. I'll navigate to the bottom of the interface and click Approve and Mint Position and complete steps in the queued transactions modal. Congratulations! You've just created your first concentrated liquidity position. We are automatically brought to a page dedicated to this position. On this page, we can see some statistics for our liquidity position below the interface and the depth chart. With SaucerSwap V2, you can create multiple positions per pool if you desire. Remember, our community in Discord is always available for a discussion. We'll be back real soon with more SaucerSwap V2 videos as we approach its launch.